what's going on here, this stuff, is one of those things in life, to me, is much bigger than money. Because I wouldn't do this for money. It's too much work. I started doing these real large projects after uh, Katrina, and the storm killed all those large, lo large oaks. And uh, instead of having the state and the FEMA take them down, we I decided I would uh, turn some of them into art. But this carving here, on a smaller scale, will serve as a new landmark for you all. And when that the plaques that will be carried on this sculpture will tell the story of not just the tree, but the history of this courthouse. It's going to look just like this tree when I get done. It's just it's going to be in the wing spread of an eagle. I remember coming down and admiring this tree, and I was very sad when I heard they had to chop it down. Termites, when you've got a hole right in the middle of the limb that you're counting on for a, a massive wing, you're in a lot of trouble. I've had a couple trees that we identified uh, within an hour that it was not going to be a carvable tree, and we just cut it down. But I don't think that's going to be the case with this one. Hope is up. To have it be reborn again as a piece of sculpture, I think it's totally awesome. I seem to get more satisfaction out of going bigger and bigger the better. You know, I like to think that, you know, 100 years from now when Mother Nature's reclaimed me that maybe uh, somebody can stand there and appreciate my sculpture and look at my work. <laughs> 